Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And another episode here on Alma, Missouri. So, as you can see right here, something is missing. And it's our shop. Between the last episode and even the live stream, we did a little live stream on here. The shop came tumbling down. Post a picture right now for you guys. Show you what happened. Just collapsed. Just collapsed. And so we've been busy trying to get it fixed, cleaned up. And uh, yeah, so we have a dumpster here. We got, there's just a bunch of rubble left. Um, pretty much everything that was in there. So our brand new disc bind, our, we had seed in there. We had some herbicide in there, which actually set on fire. It's just kind of a mess. So there was a small fire as well, which didn't help things. So yeah, it's, uh, this tractor was in there hooked up to the disc vine. It, uh, has quite a bit of damage. It's got smoke. Just all sorts of damage on it. It's just not, not great. So, uh, that tractor is going to be unusable for the time being. We're going to have to figure out what we want to do for, with it. This is actually the only thing left that was in that barn. The disc mine has been so, kind of sold or whatever. Um, we got some insurance money for that. Uh, our brand, or not our new, but our new Kubota uh, side by side was in there. Our uh, zero turn mower was in there. Bunch of other stuff. So we haven't gotten any insurance money for the building itself yet, but man. Yeah, it was uh, kind of a wild few, or night and then a few days following. Well, we've just been getting it cleaned up. We're kind of back to work now. Uh, it's been a busy morning, just kind of doing stuff. But we're down a tractor, a valuable tractor, one that planning on getting a baler for. That's down. I would love to save that tractor. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Uh, probably going to cost quite a bit of money to even repair it. So we got to see if it's going to be worth worth the investment or just should we just purchase something new? I don't know. But uh, yeah, that was uh, unexpected. Luckily, not a ton of other things were in there, so we have to figure out another another mower to get. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out something for bailing. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, Bobby is over. You can see in the top right here, he keeps needing to be unloaded. Uh, Bobby is picking rocks right now up in the two uh, fields up north of town there, northeast of town. We got to get some... <sighs> some crop planted we're, we're gonna plant some barley here today we're gonna get to the back field so we did just make it here to the back field are right, gonna plant some barley we do need to get some more seed actually as we did lose our seed pallets i can't plant this in you're trolling me i don't believe you we can't plant this in March, so we gotta go with oats. So, you're gonna go plant some oats, I suppose. Plant oats. Interesting. Okay. That's too bad. Well, this is gonna be tough to figure out where, we're, where we've been. The drilled texture is very, very similar to the cultivated texture. There's a slight difference. There's not as much... There's like a little bit of residue in the cultivated texture, not as much as there should be. There's really not much at all in the drilled texture, but we are missing some right now. Not paying attention, but... So yeah, I think this is probably going to be our last year with this drill. And we don't do a ton with it. I guess if we were to be drilling our beans and stuff, then maybe it would make sense, but we don't do that. It's not terrible. I mean, I guess for the amount of crop that we do drill with this, it's not bad. It's nice for planting grass, but I have a idea for a little bit bigger. It's not super undersized, to be honest, for the equipment that we have right now, but I think very soon it's going to start to become very undersized for us. So there is a lot of water in the backfield here. But, uh, it was always concerning to see. <laughs> We've always had issues with this part of this field. Need to put in some drain tile or something like that. Something. we got to figure out something for this field. This is kind of a low spot, though. 
does make sense. But we'll just drill through it. Hopefully it end up, ends up taking taking root. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. But I think, what was that, year two that we kind of went through this same thing? Where we kind of had to drill right through a bunch of water in this field? Very similar story here in year four. I'm excited to run our new planter. You know, it's really not any, any different from... Not a ton different, at least, from the uh, front fold in Z, because it is still a 12 row. But I'm excited to use it. It's still new equipment. Good stuff. Man, that uh, rock picker is really filling up, isn't it? <laughs> There's not a huge capacity. That thing is so weird to me. So it just doesn't, like, it doesn't actually unload. It's just very, it's a very odd thing. I don't know how you unload it. Strange, strange machine. Did not, it did not windrow the rocks like I thought it would. Just takes them in, apparently, and then you can't dump it. So then you have to easy develop, you empty it. It's just, it's very weird. <laughs> I don't, luckily, we're not going to have to use it a ton. But like I said, pretty much any new field that we have or has had rocks in it. So nice to have something that we can get the rocks out with. That's not a, it's not the base game pickers because that's, uh, those are extremely annoying. At least with this, you can run course play on it and it actually works right, so. Morning, guys. This is April 1, and as you can hear, it is raining pretty good right now. Bill is working his way. Well, he was. He stopped now. Just stopped right there in the middle of the field, actually. And I think Bobby is probably going to be taking a break as well, because it's raining pretty good, but... We gotta get this pallet of seed unloaded so it doesn't get ruined completely. Let's take the pallet forks here and out of the back, set it in the barn. And then, as you see, we have a uh, gooseneck that we are renting from the neighbor. We're gonna get the 8100 loaded up and brought that, bring that up to the dealership. This afternoon, which would be a good job to do while it's raining. Quarter past ten now. Got the tractor loaded up. Uh, good thing about this gooseneck is that it has a uh, winch on it, which helped helped get this tractor up. Hardly runs, so it was uh, quite a job to get this puppy loaded up. We'll have to check out the technology on this. I'm not sure how those monitors and all the technology is working on it yet still, but it's uh in a, it's in a uh, bad spot right now. So it's going to cost us about 15 grand to get it fixed, but we're probably going to get it fixed. We're going to have them just kind of go over it and give us an idea, but their initial estimate was about 15 grand, so... We'll have to see. They told us to just back right on up to the main shop bay door there. Help us get it unloaded. But in the meantime, there you have a loaner tractor. This was actually a tractor that was just traded into them. It is a Ford New Holland 8770. And on the back of it is our new baler. It is a uh, 56M baler. John Deere. Yeah, we're going to be renting that from them. Or they're going to loan us the uh, tractor for now. It's uh, got some wider spacings on it, which will be nice for bailing or driving over the swath. But this is our new baler. This costs us about 80 grand, <laughs> believe it or not. It's a big old puppy. But this thing is going to be around for years to come. I can see this thing lasting us the whole rest of the series to be honest with you i don't know if it gets much better than this baler we did end up uh, financing it so it's on a five-year finance plan about what was it was the payment like fifteen hundred dollars a month or something like that which isn't terrible and i think we can swing it and then uh but if we wouldn't have paid off our loan we probably could have uh, paid for that in cash, so <laughs> I'm really regretting paying off our loan. Uh, we'll, we'll hop inside, and we'll get these guys to help us get this tractor off, and we'll see what we can uh, get figured out with this, this old girl. 
nearing one o'clock now. The rain really kind of stopped like, what, 15, 20 minutes after we last talked to you guys. And it's actually been relatively windy and very sunny out, so... Um, the windrows are probably definitely going to be wet, but we're not super concerned about it, obviously. We are wet bailing this. So we're not super concerned about how dry it is, like, hey, but... The wet bales are nice, because they do kind of give you a little bit of everything. The moisture food, all that stuff, so... Um, this baler, the special thing about it is it is an edited version. The original version, so the original version, oh, it only made like those 103 or 183 meter bales or whatever. This one is a special by Pleasant View, where he edited it. I'm going to slow down a little bit. And he made it so it could create 120s all the way up to 180s. Oh, whoa. He unloaded the, the unload speed a lot. <laughs> that is real quick. Now we could uh, slow that down a little bit. Yeah, so this is Pleasant's edit. Big old baler. It's nice because the 180s, 183s or whatever is... You gotta have like a specialized trailer and stuff for auto loading and all that stuff so kicks them out that, those those puppies just come right on out like a, a we are making 180 meter bales we usually have the whole series so far we've been making 150s because that's as high as the as the gale ba gale baler would make them or as big as they would make them so we're gonna try 180s I know that the massey might struggle to to load those, to pick those up, so I have to be conscious of that. Might be a little too heavy, might have to get a rear weight or something for the Massey to load those for feeding and stuff. Or we just drop back down 150s, 150s really weren't that bad. Not bad at all. Check out the interior of this puppy. Does have our, our John Deere bale monitor in it. Uh, we got field view hooked up in here. Oh, this tractor. Heck, who knows? Maybe we'll even purchase it down the road if it's still around. Be a nice addition to the farm, to be honest with you. Got a little bit more power in it than the uh, 81. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty nice. It's a little bit older of a model, though, than the deer. In cab, it's pretty nice because you don't have to look at the uh, <laughs> the unload animation. <laughs> How fast it is. <laughs> just funny, they just come flying out the back. Maybe we'll slow it down a, a tad bit, since this is probably going to be our forever baler. At least as long as we stick with round bales. So this job has taken quite a bit longer than I was hoping for. Uh... I was hoping to get into some a little bit of planting today. Not sure that we'll do that. I think we're going to probably work into the night and get this field, the rest, the other side of the grass field uh, cultivated in. Don't think we're going to chisel plow it because that is a big job for the chisel plow. <laughs> we're, and we're going to have to chisel plow it anyway this coming fall because it's going to be corn so just cultivate it in see how it does should do fine planting into that and yeah so we have how many bales do we have we have 30 currently right now so not bad really i mean 180 yeah 180s 30 of them. That's uh, some pretty good feed bales there. Not going to complain about that because we definitely need the feed. The grazing is great that are on the pastures now, but it's our cows are starting to get old enough to where they're eating a lot. Especially because the one cow just gave birth. They have calves that they have to split the feed between, and I think with animal extension, they just eat more. 
So there's that too. I'm getting really sick of emptying that uh, rock picker or rock rake. Can't wait for that job to be over with. <laughs> Eventually. I'm also loving this tractor. This thing is sweet. The sound on it and everything, I feel like it's just really good. It's, it's a very slick tractor and a Ford New Holland. 8770. I could see this tractor finding a spot on our farm. I'm not going to lie to you. Not sure what we would do with it, but I think we'll probably keep the 8110 as our baling tractor, but I don't know. I guess we wouldn't have to. Just use the 8110 as our mowing tractor and have this hooked up to the baler most of the time. This could pull a set of wagons. I don't know. I feel like we could find some jobs for it. Do we need it? I don't know. Right now we need it because we don't have the 8110, but when the 8110 is back, I'm not sure that we really need it, but I like it. Definitely a tractor to keep in mind. Okay, I, I also, uh, somebody commented that they found some John Deere mods. But uh, they wanted to send me to maybe put into the into the save game, and I said I don't know. It's newer John Deere mods. They are uh, or newer John Deeres are pretty expensive, so we might uh, not be able to afford deer much more or much longer if we start getting into the newer stuff. So I know it feels like we're a deer farm right now, but it doesn't mean we'll always be. And like I said, this this save, I don't know, I didn't want to just be one color anyway. I kind of wanted to just buy what we could, or like what shows up. Doesn't matter color, anything like that. It just so happens that a lot of the stuff we've bought is deer. And it's, I mean, because I have a lot of deer mods. I feel like there's more deer mods available than anything else, so they're going to show up in the used market more. And there we go, we got about... This last one is just a little sliver there that we got to pick up again, but I'm hoping that we can get one bale out of this. Not sure that we will. Definitely won't. <laughs> we'll have a little bit in the in the chamber for uh, next time we do some, some hay in there, baling or whatever. Finish with about 80. I don't really want to go around and scavenge for little drops either so that's gonna be it bill is going bobby is going as you can see bobby needs unloaded all the time driving me crazy <laughs> so we'll get him squared away if we can get into the tractor after bill's done cultivating this field right next to us you can kind of see him through the trees even right there we'll probably get a start on cultivating in this grass the water oh there's a very odd glare off the water and yeah we'll see we'll see what we can get it ah, maybe, heck we may, maybe we'll plant this small this small field the alfalfa field <laughs> that's what i'm just going to call it from now on the alfalfa field even though it doesn't have alfalfa in it we'll plant that quick this afternoon yet because bill's going to be back there for a while running the cultivator so Maybe we will do that. Get this uh, going. Sorry if there was a weird skip right there. <laughs> I ran out of space actually on my uh, hard drive to record, so I don't really know what the last thing I said was. So hopefully I can edit that in a way that it's not too funky. So. This field is a bit odd. We drop down in. We're just going to around the headlands. This tractor is always so bumpy. Or so, uh, I guess, yeah, bumpy. But also very wobbly. <laughs> it's kind of the same issue I feel like Pleasant's been having with his 8000. I think it has that same kind of wobble. Depending on what it's hooked up to. It's kind of It's kind of weird. It's almost like the middle duels are like bigger than the outer duels or something where they're not all on the ground i don't know it's just kind of weird well we're planting at nine mile an hour pretty quick 
I am happy with 9 mile an hour. A good planting speed. Definitely not one of those high speed planters, but it'll work. Ooh, look at that. Get it bending with the contours of the field. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh. Bill's having issues over there. I might have to go check on Bill real quick. We got Bill sorted out, so he's doing all right. There we go. Get in uh, the next one. No. We were doing row carp ready stuff that would look awful. We're not, so. I still think it would have been pretty pretty slick to try row crop on this map, but I just couldn't get it working for some reason. This would also, you also really need to add multi, multi terrain angle if you're going to do row crop ready stuff, because it, then it just looks terrible. That is one thing. Maps that don't have multi terrain angle are just. It's rough. <laughs> it still does drive me a little crazy. But it's one thing that I can kind of get over. It's not like the corn texture. That 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 was awful. The planted corn texture was just terrible. Happy that we kind of got it switched out. But yeah, I'm going to get the headlands going. We'll get... Uh, this should be knocked out in no time. And, uh, yeah, so we'll catch you guys here probably when we're nearing complete uh, completion of this field. Alright, so we are very, very near completion of planting this field. That went really, really fast. Makes me feel like we're actually going to get through our planting here. Kind of worried about it, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but I think that's going to be it for the episode, guys. The... I feel like we got through quite a bit, although I do feel like maybe the episode won't be the longest. Definitely not going to be like a 50 minute or like it was uh, in the last episode, but yeah, I don't know how long it will be, but I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you to the YouTube channel members for her, uh, everything that you do for me and support. Uh, thank you to the big time contributors. You guys know who you are. Uh, big time contributing to the in the live streams and stuff. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's been really cool. So uh, if you're still here, hit that like button. Yeah. If you enjoyed the content, hit that subscribe button for more to come. Uh, videos are going to slow down a little bit for a little bit. Uh, if you want to know why, go back and watch the last live stream. I kind of talk about it a little bit. Just kind of the situation, my recording situation has changed slightly, so it is, uh, it has become a little bit harder to record, so videos might slow down, but we'll still be doing live streams, so that'll be fun. Definitely always going to have a Sunday video. Hopefully we'll still have a Wednesday video, but we might not have that Saturday video for a little bit. Um... I know that Saturday video has been kind of on and off as already, but, uh, yeah, so. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Catch you in the next video.